Hey everybody, it's Stuart McAdam here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Facebook automated responses using the Messenger app. Now, before we get started, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And with that said, let's hop straight into it. Here we are on my client's uh, business page account and in order to get going with that, you just got to scroll down and select settings and go to messaging. This is going to take you up to the messaging settings and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says during a message conversation set up automated responses and we're going to select set up. And this will come up with a range of different options right here from instant reply, frequently asked questions, contact information, location hours and also follow ups. So we are going to select an instant reply. We're going to select edit. This will give you the chance to send the message. You can choose what time you send it, but in this one we're going to have uh, it set up as an instant reply. And we're just going to turn everything else off for now. We're going to select a nice simple message. And if you go across here, you can see this is how the message is going to look in the chat. So give this a little space, zoom in, and here you go. Nice and simple. We're going to select save. We're going to make sure that this is selected. We're going to be able to preview it. And there you go, that's how it looks when you are engaging with fire recruitment in Australia uh, as an automatic instant reply. So this may be someone who is interested in your product or service. Um, and then in that case, you'd say we aim to reply within 24 hours. Um, if you haven't received a response by then, Email us at info at dot com. And there you go, that's what it'll look like right over there. We just got to select save. And there you go. And then all you have to do after that is turn that on. Now, if you're looking to do something a little bit more technical, someone may have some frequently asked questions that they'd like to ask, and you want to have that set up in the group, you can select Edit here. And this will bring up three different options right here. So first one is how do you help aspiring firefighters? and here's the automated response which people will get and this is the link to the website which it'll go to and it says right here you can visit to learn more about it now the reason why this one's so helpful and useful is because if you are finding that people are asking the same questions over and over again you would rather have you know simple answer it's the same answer over and over again you just want to make sure that this is something that is set up for people to um, be given the same answer again and again just so that they're aware of what the answer is and you're not having to repeat yourself again and again so just select save here and then you've got it all showing up right here as you can see the preview is a little bit different there with the menu button but the question one right here is perfect. So let's head over to the Facebook page right now and select Fire Recruitment Australia. Then we're going to view it as a visitor and then we're going to have the message come up today. And then as you can see right here, here's the FAQ right there. How do you help aspiring firefighters? Now obviously that's going to look a little bit different as you can see right here, the answer has popped up already and you're good to go. So once again, that is a frequently asked question. If we want to change that in the menu button, 
we want to select edit um, and make sure it's visible the whole question is visible so let's go back here and let's have a look at how it shows in the menu there we go right there as you can see our questions a lot shorter and then you can go right here obviously someone who's visiting the fire recruitment of Australia page is going to have some level of interest in becoming a firefighter or know someone that is so let's refresh that again have a look at how it shows up this time round. there we go how can you help me and the same answer is going to come up again and that's the automated response right here and that is perfect so if they click through to the visit website button here it takes them straight to the home page of fire recruitment Australia and you can see everything um, which the person who might be asking the question is going to see. So that's how you do it, everybody, for the instant replies. It's nice and easy. You just pop that in there. So if someone does send you a personal message, it goes through straight away. For the frequently asked questions, we just head down here and we pop in the question here. We give the response. We can even add a personalization, person's first name. And we also have a link to the button label and the website which they're going to be sent to. So I hope you found that useful everybody. This is super helpful if you're wanting to save hours and hours not having to ask answer the same question over and over and over again from a range of different people. Set it up as an automation uh, with the Facebook Messenger app. It is super helpful and very powerful and there are a range of other platforms which I can recommend to you if you want to know about them that allow you to customize things a little bit more. But for now, we'll just leave it there. If you found this useful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash that like button. We'll see you next time. Thanks.